in this video we are going to discuss a problem related to convolution so given z of t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of minus tau plus b h of t plus tau d tau express this z of t in terms of y of t where y of t is equal to x of t convolution with h of t if z of t is like this they are asking we need to represent this z of t in terms of y of t where y of t is the convolution of x of t and h of t now i am going to write the formula so y of t is equal to x of t convolution with h of t so here we know the formula for convolution that is integral minus infinity to infinity so we can fold and shift this signal or this signal so first of all i want to fold and shift this signal that's why i am considering like this x of tau h of t minus tau d tau like this we consider or like this also we can consider so that means we can fold and shift this uh, x of t and uh, we can remain as it is this impulse function d tau so like this or like this we can consider the formula of convolution of x of t with h of t so which which can be considered y of t here so now here in this z of t i am going to consider t plus tau is equal to some lambda in this z of t i am considering this z of t equation so in this z of t equation i want to consider t plus tau is equal to lambda coming to t minus lambda so this is equal to tau so now t minus lambda is equal to some tau so here we know that so here tau is a varying time factor so if you consider if you consider any um, differentiation here then here you can see t plus lambda if you send this lambda this side this tau this side t minus lambda is equal to minus tau if you consider differentiation here this will give you minus d lambda is equal to minus d tau so minus minus gets cancelled d lambda is equal to d tau or d tau is equal to d lambda i am going to substitute these things in this equation so now i am going to get z of t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x of minus tau place i can write t minus lambda so in place of minus tau i am going to write t minus lambda plus b h of in place of t plus tau i am going to write h of lambda so in place of d tau i can write d lambda so now here minus infinity to infinity x of so t plus b i am writing like this t plus b minus lambda h of lambda d lambda if i replace lambda with tau just if i replace lambda with tau then i am going to get so z of t is equal to x of t plus b if i replaced with the tau so h of tau d tau will come so if you want to compare with z of t with y of t with which equation you can compare here we are having shift for this signal not for impulse response so we are going to compare with this equation if you compare these two then in place of t you are having t plus b that means in y of t in place of t if you put t plus b then you are going to get the same equation then you can say z of t is equal to if you compare if this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 compare equation 1 and 2 then you used to know that your time is equal to t plus b so then z of t is equal to y of t plus b for example if you substitute t plus b in place of t here then what will happen you are going to get integral minus infinity to infinity x of t plus b minus tau h of tau d tau same thing you are going to get so like this way you can represent z of t signal in terms of y of t which is the convolution of x of t and impulse response like this way they will ask questions in technical exams like gate